All right, everybody, how are we doing today? Today is uh, September 12th, 2018. Just want to come on and do a little bit of analysis today for some more altcoins. Like I said before, I'm mostly going to stick to Bitcoin uh, and just try to do that uh, about once a week. Uh, let's see, this was, what is it? What am I on right now? ZRX. This was ZRX um, from yesterday. I made a call on this. And uh, you notice these lines here. These are basically just uh, some targets of, of what I can predict and, and see happening here. Um, as I as I thought from last night, we we're, were about at the same level uh, as last night, and I knew that we would come down just a little bit before uh, you know we started our making our way back up here. And uh, that is exactly what happened so far. We're still uh, crossing over down here on the bottom of the stock, still bottomed out at the RSI, and this has a lot of room. Uh, to start moving upwards. So I really still uh, see that happening. This is going to be a, kind of a longer call here. Going down to a lower time frame real quick just to give you guys an, an idea of what's been happening is um, <clears throat> if we get some more information in here, you can see that you know we had this nice little bearish hammer at the bottom and we've already started coming back up. So really awesome news there. So uh, let's see. Oops. Let me go ahead. I'm going to... Uh... Oops. There we go going to do some other coins today. Um, let me take a look at ICX again real quick. Uh, same thing with ICX, just a little update from yesterday. Still uh, still heading upwards. Lots of bullish pressure here you can see from these uh, nice tall wicks. Right now we're actually uh, bouncing off of this 21 EMA um, and just trying to find... <clears throat> uh, we're basically trying to come above this 786 level, right, right around the 9, uh, 900, 915 range. Um, Obviously, RSI was bottomed out again, so you know you can take from these little predictions here that you know when you zoom out on on a larger uh, time frame and, and zoom back out to the day, you know you can see right here already, boom, bearish can't. Um, I'm sorry, uh, you know bullish uh, Doji right here with a lot of bullish uh, support, you know from the bottom and everything, just trying to use. Uh, this channel that was acting as resistance that we were stuck in, uh, you know, now is acting as support and we're trying to come back up and, and make a reversal here. Uh, so let's see, one coin that I wanted to do, um, let me actually, let me go ahead and take a look at Nano today. I want to see what Nano is doing. I haven't really checked on this coin in a while. As I said, um, I'm coming over from a different uh, TradingView account, so... Uh, none of my hold analysis on any of these coins is here and it's been a it's been a real journey trying to import that stuff over you can't really copy any of it so I've been having to do it by hand and it's been a it's been a number uh, nano is actually not looking too bad right now um, if we uh, draw our supports here here we go bam right in the center of that golden pocket right here um, really, really nice range uh, to be in. Hopefully, uh, just as long as this doesn't break and we start heading down to the 786 level, this would be a really nice uh, point to gain support if we can have this candle close above the 618 level at about uh, you know 2940, 2950-ish. Um, that would be really awesome. We're hovering at just about 3000 right now, but I think as long as we get a close uh, above 2950, we should be okay. Um, and again, there's still plenty of room for this to come up. And this is on a day chart again. Uh, if we zoom zoom in for a little more information on the four hour chart here, you can see that uh, it looks already, um, you know, like we're already well above that. But this doji does uh, signify uh, some indecision right now. It's gone up just as much as it's come back down. And we only have about an hour and a half left on that. So um, this is going to be kind of a turning point. This is going to be a real test for Nano right here. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, because there is good, um, uh, there is good volume in, at this level. So um, we've already pushed through um, and broken through this little point of the of the twenty one um, EMA line, uh, which is a good sign. Um, I still I want to be I want to be bullish on this, um, and I think that as long as this candle closes, like I said, you know, in this range twenty nine fifty three thousand ish, um, that we should be okay. Um, if we can get another candle going upwards and and you know kind of try to get a close at like 3150 or so that would be excellent for the next candle um but obviously you know when the rsi starts uh, really creeping up there uh you know like if we start coming up here towards this 0.5 uh fibonacci then yes we are gonna have to you know retrace and, and we'll go back down again to test uh you know like this 3000 uh level um 
let me actually draw a line here. I want to see if there's any historical support at this level. Already right here, you can tell this has been a kind of a little resistance zone at 3,000 here too. We had tests here. This was a big break through this. We, te we tested up here and got rejected. Let's go back to the left and see any historical. Yeah, you can see we peaked here and bounced off of it before we came down. So this, this is a pretty, um, you know, historical spot um, for, for resistance that we're in right, right at this little level right here. So I think that we should be okay. Um, let me go ahead and take a look at Litecoin real quick. I was getting some questions about Litecoin. Um, I'm going to do Litecoin and BTC. Uh, let me do it on that's shorts and longs. Let's do it on Binance. Oh, wow. Nice little pump right here. Nice little pump right here that we just saw that happen. Um, so I, that's what's happening with a lot of these alts today that I've been noticing. Um, this is on a four hour time frame. Let's uh, zoom out just a little bit, get get kind of a bigger overview. And again, we got this really big bearish, uh, or sorry, a uh, really big bullish hammer right here. This is what's happening with a lot of altcoins right now is, is they're finally starting to, to find their actual bottom. And and what's happening now is, is they've gone down so low that there's really nowhere else for them to go there's there's nowhere else um to sell there's no one there to sell anymore so what's happening is we're floating in this little range where there's resistance from sellers at the next level however there's no um there's no more um sellers where, where it's already at so it can't really go down anymore um the rsis are, are getting all bottomed out and and the stotches are really bottoming out and they're starting to cross over bullish on, on the very bottom um, of the indicator at this really low level of, of like the 20 ish area and um, that they're all looking like this is looking really good. I'm not going to go ahead and draw um, the parallel channel. I mean, that, that should be pretty obvious for you to be able to see here. Just another clear parallel channel all the way down until um, it looks like we finally just poked a hole in the bottom. And now we're fighting uh, to just come back up and finally break through these levels here. Um, so Litecoin has been uh, very interesting. And we've pretty much retraced all the way from, from when we had this, uh, this big jump here. Um, you know, this was obviously back at the, you know, beginning of the year and everything we came up and we came up, um, all the way up into the, uh, 0 0.02 range. So that's about $400 range. Um, and then, you know, started making our way back down. Uh, I don't think that we're going to head back down any lower. There's this huge long wick here. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but I don't, you know, I really don't think that we're going to go down and see, you know, like 30, $30 levels or, or anything like that. So this is also looking very good. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to really get into today. Let's go ahead and just check on um, ADA real quick and see what's happening here. See if we got any little update here. This is looking prime for, for a real rocket um, coming out from where, from where it is right now. This has just been a very, very, very steady, um, you know, downside. And this has been really below... Uh, you know, like the oversold area for for quite some time now on uh, on both of these uh, indicators here. So this is also looking very prime for a bounce. I'm very excited to see what's happening um, in the next couple of days. This should end up turning out to be a pretty good week. Um, you know, especially considering that you know we're still kind of early in the week here. It's really only Wednesday, so we're only halfway through. Happy Hump Day to everybody! And um, that's really all I got for today. Uh, make sure that you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want notifications, you can always uh, set the uh, little alarm icon there for notifications of when I'm coming out with new videos. Uh, I do post these in our free Telegram group. You can get information from that uh, from my Twitter channel at TCP underscore Cobra, as well as at Honestly Crypto's uh, Twitter page. And if you need any information about joining our Discord group, where um, not only do I go through these coins, but I post updates on every coin that I do. This is just kind of an overview video. I pick random coins every day to do for a video. Um, I try to stick within the top 20, but then uh, what I do is all of these coins I'm doing analysis on, um, I end up posting these charts with uh, full targets, calls, stop losses, and, and all of that stuff. Uh, good stuff um, in our discord group for our paid members um, as well as a whole bunch of other really exclusive um, you know content that's just for them and um, educational stuff as well so really good group to join 
Uh, if you want information on that, please visit tcpmedia.org and click on Inner Circle to find out more about that. Uh, but other than that, I hope that everybody has a good day and happy trading.